in uh, basically a little north edge of Houston, Texas. And, whoa, around here it's dead quiet. Maybe it's because of this. Look, died. Here I am and I'm gonna check out the National Museum of Funeral History. And it's supposed to be pretty interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff around here. And uh, we're gonna go see it. And I got my token right over here. And here I go. But right, let's see. It's a pretty big place. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll start over to the left over here. It's the presidential funeral section. this this is used for two different funerals 2003 Cadillac There's even a, some, somebody in there. Not, not really. So they had a train when they were bringing uh, George H. W. Bush. And so they have a model of the train. Kind of like the old days, it's like people could see, wait for the train to pass by and see the uh, the casket, they had the door open. Man, look that. I'm trying not to get my shadow all over it. Well, I looked at that's blanks there. Make a lot of noise, but they nothing else happens. Here's some older historical things. This is from when Nixon uh, passed away. Linda Johnson. Roosevelt. McKinley. Some more things about McKinley and Garfield. Ooh, those are some of those stereographic um, images. They had these special little viewers and uh, it would actually make it look 3D. It's really cool. There's a little model of the, the end of the train that uh, Lincoln was brought around in on the way to the funeral. And then uh, there's the coach and everything. And they're actually bringing the casket over to put in the coach. And over here is a replica of the Abraham Lincoln's coffin with him in it. It's like a wax figure of him. It's a lot different than the ones they have now, isn't it?
And there's some delicious cupcakes that were baked in honor of uh, Ronald Reagan's 100th birthday. Back in 2011. And this is a uh, casket that's the same model as the one they used uh, for Ronald Reagan. Kind of different looking, it's all rounded off like that. The corners and everything. And this is a same type of casket that uh, John F. Kennedy was buried in. There's actually a little diagram, sort of a picture of it. And there's a little model showing the procession of John Kennedy, John F. Kennedy. Okay, and this is something a little different. This is the uh, same embalming machine that they used uh, for President Truman when uh, he passed away. So you don't see things like that every day. These are a few things. Oh, that's kind of kind of cool. It uh, shows you the one way that they used to lower the, the caskets down into the tomb. It's like a little elevator sort of thing. Ooh, little models of them. It was like doll sized caskets. And yes, even caskets have salesman books. So you could go around and show people what you got available. What kind they want to get. And look that. Now that is a fancy hearse. All carved wood paneling and there's a little bitty window so you can see inside but there's nothing in there so don't get too excited um, let's see what the back looks like yeah the back doors it looks like all those drapes hanging down and everything it's all carved wood that's a lot of work that's that's pretty impressive Oh, I see something interesting right behind it here. Oh, look at that. Look at the headlights. That's kind of weird. But look at that. That's something that I doubt they would ever get to use in Louisiana. It's a, a hearse sled. Late 1800s. And this one has something inside it. In case you wanted to look, it's one of those wicker basket style uh, things that I think they would reuse those after the funeral. They would uh, put whoever was in it in the ground and then they would uh, reuse the basket. But this is kind of a hand drawn cart, but it's a pretty cool looking uh, casket. You know, if you like caskets, that is. It's all round. And there's another funeral coach, but I think this is, oh no wait, that's when you would put something in, in the back. 29 Studebaker, Superior Hearse. And, let's see inside, it's a, uh, Interesting. It's kind of a stretcher type deal right there. I think this is the one they would pick 
people up from accidents or whatever to bring them to the uh, funeral home. Oh, and you can't see in the back. Oh, look at that weird guy. Yeesh, how creepy. This is the International Hall, so let's see what's going on in here. This is one of those wicker uh, caskets. Oh, and look at that. Now that's fancy. Look in there. There's nobody inside, so it's okay. But that is some, some kind of fancy there. I'm going to have to read up on that. This is a uh, Japanese, by the way. Look at that. Japanese ceremonial hearse, and that's from 1972. So this is, I say, I say relatively recent, 1972. That's a little while ago. But look at that. And look at that. This is a spooky dude. <laughs> trying to get in that house. Hey you, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> look at that. It's scaring me. Oh, this is scaring me too, look. I think we travel down to south of the border here. The Day of the Dead. Man. Put a, build a little altar in the house. And there's grandma over there. But look, look that. <laughs> I don't like that guy. Look that. Look that. 1850. That, and that's from German style. There it is. And it's a a box inside. Lots of funeral carriages. This is a big one. know if it made any difference how big your hearse is if you were in there well, that's a lot of carved woodwork too but it's all painted it's not stained like that other one and look at this one it's got the, like the little torches on top Let's see. Oh, and look at all these. Fantasy coffins. They're shaped like all kind of stuff. Look at that. Look at that. One shaped like a boat engine. Ma. They put you in your boat engine or inside a giant onion. This is, these are from Ghana. The boat engine, or, or you can get a fish. Or you can get a giant crab to get in. Or a big shrimp. Or a chicken. Or a leopard. <laughs> or a cow. A Brahma bull, actually. That's a Brahma. I continue to be fancy and have a, a, a car. I should be buried inside a car or an airplane. Look at that. Look at the landing gear and everything. <laughs> so you can see inside. And there's an eagle. And this is pretty fancy, this model. Louis the 18th, I think that's what that means, X-V-I-I-I, -I -I -I. yeah, Louis the 18th, see, I got it right, I saw it, hey, look at that, 
It's like a ghostly image over there. What is that? It's weird. It's like he's waving at us. Oh, look, he wants us to come along. <laughs> That's the creepiest looking thing I've seen all day. Big car with a big coffin inside. That was a big old window so you can see what's going on. And look, just so you know, this is kind of controls you used to have to deal with in a, in a car. So I don't think people can handle that these days. Everything's a push button or a touch screen. And we'll keep going. And this is probably all original. I don't think this one's been restored. It is a Rolls Royce. That's a big Rolls Royce. And here's a little small one on a pull cart, but this has got like this little window, secret window, but there's nobody in there, so you can relax. You can't even see my creepy reflection inside it, so we're all good. And they have a, also have a whole section on what happens in the Catholic Church when the Pope passes away, and uh, a lot of information on all the rituals and the special vestments and everything. Well, there's also a section on crematoriums where uh, people are cremated. And this is like a replica the first one in the United States with somebody getting ready to uh, get put in there and have a big metal door they put over the opening and all take care of that and uh, here's a here's a big metal door right here but they have a lot of explanation and about in a film you, you can watch about the process so it's interesting and here's a giant collection of uh, crematory urns i guess you would say all different kinds all shapes and sizes not too many different sizes but all shapes paul bearer of wrestling fame frequently carried around an urn Yep, lots of stuff about cremation. And these things, eco barrier uh, burials, then they stick you down in the ground and and trees grow out of you. There's another old fa Tom Fancy hearse. All carved and everything. And look at this fancy uh, casket here. <laughs> look at that. This is a funeral bus that you could get to uh, go to the go to the uh, graveyard. Oh, and there's a little door you can pop out of and scare your friends. And uh, this is up front in that bus. It's actually a double decker kind of setup. You have a bottom floor and a top floor, and here's where the driver sits. It doesn't look too comfortable, this one. They need a, a little pillow to sit on or something. But this was a Packard. Man, that was a huge machine there. They're all opened up. This one's pretty, pretty colors. Whoop. Uh, uh, it's like, hey, somebody's missing. They got out again. Yeah, let's see next door. This is that really fancy one I saw a second ago and it has a really fancy uh, coffin inside It's Italian Renaissance style And I guess you could put stuff on top of there sometimes they throw the flowers and stuff on top of there they go to the gravesite 
Man, look at that. That's a stereoscope. See behind the giant finger there, pointing at that. Uh, that's what the stereoscopic photos go in. Uh, when you look inside them, it makes them look all 3D. It's hard to do it like this because I can't get close enough, but they are pretty cool. And this is what it was like before they started having funeral homes when they would have everything at their own house. And they would set up in the living room and uh, have the coffin and everything in the living room. And one of the interesting things, they cover up any mirrors they had, stuff like that. Oh, and look at that. There's a mummy man in here. That this section of the uh, of the museum talks about embalming practices. The hows, who's, wins, and where's of embalming starting way back with the Egyptians because they were kind of into that sort of thing back in the day. And I'm going to go ahead in there and see what's inside that place. And look, they even have, uh, they have the coroner from the Wizard of Oz. They have his outfit. Including his beard and there's an exciting scene from it but there's a, a wiener mobile underneath him oh he played Oscar Mayer himself oh wow I didn't know that so he went from being the the coroner of the, of the Wizard of Oz to being Oscar Mayer wiener chef <laughs> you never know What's going to happen? It's a, it's a whole uh, section on celebrity uh, passings, you could say, and different, different interesting things. Gene Wilder with the, oh, that's the Willy Wonka hat. But all kinds of uh, celebrities that have little interesting stories and and things that were given out, or things that they did or were involved in. Like Wendy's French fries and a, a heart, and this is interesting. Uh, that's like a replica of Snow White's um, glass coffin. So that's that's kind of different. Original hiking boots of Robin Williams in the RV. Yeah, there's also a significant material in the gift shop on the way out if you're interested. Uh, they've got some water and stuff over there, but they got some books about the funeral cars. There's some funeral vehicles. There's stiff skulls and skeletons. So, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Some of these bone appetite, I like it, and dog ears on dead. And some Undertaker root beer or some Undertaker water. Yep, well, that's the entrance there. But uh, that was very interesting. I had no idea what I would be seeing in there, and it was uh, it was pretty cool. Check back soon for more Look Dad.